Hey guys, so it is John again, uh, and I wanted to uh, make a final video regarding the single wire uh, transmission to multiple addresses uh, or nodes, as I would like to call them, because technically this is a network, uh, you know, because we have different addresses that can both uh, not in this setup, they can't send any data, but they can both, uh, you know, if you built it to, they could uh, send and receive data. So yeah, a networking system. Um, and if you don't know what I'm referring to, I had uh, a couple other videos uh, based on single wire transmission systems. Uh, and if you're a noob, uh, if you are interested in or look up uh, videos regarding single wire transmission in Minecraft, Normally, what you're going to see uh, is uh, someone making a transmitter and a receiver device that you can send uh, eight bits or whatever bits, you know, any amount of bits to through a single wire. Uh, so, like, if we wanted to give a demonstration, then just say, uh, so, like uh, this. So, if you look down here at the last one. Okay, so normally if you uh, look for anything regarding single wire transmission, then that's what you're going to see. But this is going to be like single wire transmission all hopped up, right? Uh, because you're not just transmitting to a single receiver, you're transmitting to an address for a particular receiver uh, or an address for another receiver or a different address or a different address or a different address. Uh, so anyway, in my previous video, so I showed a system like this based off of repeater dust lines. Uh, and I used a 4-bit addressing system uh, that could, of course, give you, you know, 15 different outputs. Uh, well, I was able to increase that up to a 7-bit system, right? Uh, so with a 7-bit addressing system, so we can still transmit uh, 8 bits of data. Uh, the difference is, is that now we can transmit it to 100 and with 7-bit, 128 different addresses. Uh, and so this is just going to be a small demo because I'm going to uh, leave a world download in case anybody wanted to see this or play with it. Um, so yeah, you can have up to, with a 7-bit system, you can have up to 128 different addresses. Uh, and I think that is about as far as I would like to go. Um, you know, I think I've learned enough about it. So, to get into some of the quirks about this type of system. So, if you, of course, have uh, 128 different outputs, then you're going to have to try to encode uh, your transmission system to where you don't have to have 128 different levers uh, you know, so just say that if I had a 20, 128 different levers and I could pull number, uh, you know, 57 and I want to send it this 8-bit signal, you know, or okay, I'm going to pull number 68 and then we can send it this signal, you know. So you have to have some type of encoding and so that's what I've done here, uh, which I've basically just broken down my 7-bit signal into a 15-bit or 15-bit into a 4-bit signal. Uh, which can have 15 different levers, uh, and then a 3-bit signal, which can have uh, up to 7 different levers. Uh, so the difference is between uh, this and a true 7-bit system is that using this type of method, you can only have 105 different addresses. Uh, and the reason why is because whenever you want to address something like this, uh, you know, you select a top color, which I consider to be uh, like a block. Uh, and then, uh, you know, below that, you can select a different color. So uh, for each block here, you can see like we have green on the top. And then we have a separate color on the bottom. Uh, and then we have red on the top. So what that means is that that is going to be like your highest level. It's going to be the green, the red, the orange. Uh, and then you know, that's the highest first, or just think the first level of your address, and then, uh, you know, this will be the next level of your address, you know. 
So for every block that we have here, I only included two addresses. So you can see we have two whites. Those are two independent addresses, two light lime greens, whatever. Uh, up until I got to the seventh, uh, in which case I put seven different uh, addresses on that. So that can have each each block up here can have a total of 15 different addresses on each block. Uh, so yeah, 105 different outputs. Uh, but as I, was, as I was saying, so it's not going to be the true seven bit. You're not going to have using this method. You're not going to have 128 outputs. Uh, and the reason why is because uh, with 7-bit, so like you see, I just have the lower one selected. So that's going to be our first address of 1, right? But if you look up here at the block, like we'd have to imagine that there's a block here because there is nothing else turned on, you know? Uh, because on 3-bit, you have the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right? Uh, so to get up to the number 8, you would have to go up into 4-bit, uh, if you know what I'm talking about, referring to binary. So because there is no number 0, you know, like in this case, we're converting signal strength. So there is no signal strength 0. Uh, so we would just essentially have to imagine that that would be our first block, right? Uh, and then you could send that to it, and that would be address 1. Uh, and vice versa, uh, you would also you could also say that there would be an extra address down here uh, that would relate to uh, the zero address, and then you could pick one of these, or not not that one obviously because that would be zero zero, but uh, you know so like you could pick that and that would be an address, uh, or that and that would be an address. And let me get rid of this block because that's getting on my nerves. You know, so that would be a different address, and on and on and on, and so that would give you your 128 different outputs. Uh, but anyway, so uh, yeah, 128 different outputs. Uh, so just to do a little demo, uh, so we could say address uh, lime and blue, and you can see what it is. Uh, so if we pick our lime and our blue. Uh, and we want to send it that signal, then you can see how it is transmitted and how nothing else has been affected, okay? Uh, so like the first signal that we put in back here or whatever, yeah, so... <laughs> So yeah, 128 different addresses. So how how many addresses can you have in Minecraft reasonably? Uh, how many ad different addresses can you actually have? Uh, well, you know, if, if anybody wanted to try to design some type of 8-bit addressing system, then that's, what is, what is 8-bit? 255 different outputs. Uh, so if, if somebody wanted to go that route, uh, you know, than they could. Uh, but, so I did something a little different, and I thought, well, because I already know the technology uh, of using systems like that, uh, so I was going to try something a little different. Uh, and this is, uh, if you can if you can tell based from my other video, based on the work that I've done in my previous videos, so this is a, a signal strength transmission line with a signal strength decoder. Uh, and so I just made a quick mock-up here um, what this would be like. So like the other system, which is a, which has seven bits of address or addressing, so you can have a 128 different outputs, right? Uh, so if we actually wanted to have more, uh, then there is an easy way to do that. And that's by using a transmission line system like this with signal strength addresses, uh, because now you can uh, have uh, 15 different addresses uh, based on the signal strength. Uh, and then for each address, you can have a further, for each signal strength address, 1 through 15, you can have a further 128 7-bit uh, addresses behind that. 
Okay, so we're just like adding another notch to the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but to the encoding system that allows you to transmit to a, one particular address. Okay, uh, so if you were to actually use this system, you could have uh, 1920 different addresses that you could transmit an 8 bit signal to. Uh, so uh, that is one method. Now, it's probably not the greatest method because, uh, you know, a single wire transmission goes, it's much more difficult to use signal strength like that in analog transmission lines because they take so long. Uh, whereas the, this other method is relatively quickly. Uh, so if we look at the last, the very last address, which is the purple and the lime. Uh, so let's go ahead and select our purple and our lime. And we'll just transmit, you know, whatever to that, right? So from a single redstone dust line, it is very fast, okay? So we're coming out here, and I didn't count the repeaters, but I'm sure it, you know, only takes a second or so, uh, you know, or a little over a second to transmit all the way down here to the 19th address. I think I have 19 total here. Uh, so it's very quick, but in this case, uh, you know, you're already losing a couple seconds just by the transmission line, not to mention uh, the actual decoding down the line here. Uh, so if I actually had 128 different addresses here, uh, you know, then I would still lose time trying to come all the way down the line to, uh, you know, deal with the addresses. But anyway, so this would be one method of uh, accomplishing that. Uh, so uh, just give a little demo. So you pick your signal strength 1 through 15, which I only included three here. Uh, and then just like with the 7-bit, you can select, uh, you know, any particular location. In this case, I only have two different locations. So let's pick the white and the lime. And I already had a bunch of stuff in here, but whatever. So yeah, it, it would take it would take a few seconds to transmit, you know. Uh, but so that's going to be our signal there. Um, so yeah, there are some uh, I'd say some further methods of uh, encoding data into a single line that would allow you to address. So one thought that I had on further uh, developments, which I don't know if I would get into because I I just don't see the point in it anymore because uh, I've pretty much learned enough about this stuff already. Uh, but anyway, uh, one method that I was looking at was actually using signal strength decoders like this. Uh, so just say that if we sent the, so the way that we're using these right now is that if, I, if this is a, a signal strength of three, Okay, so that's address number three. So everything that has a signal strength of three is going to come to this address. Um, and it's just going to allow those signals to pass through. Anything that is a different signal strength gets blocked. Uh, but so what if we were to make a type of system to where, uh, just say that you have three, uh, or just say four ticks of information, right? So your first tick out of the four, just say that that is address to number three, okay? So now just say that if we had, um, you know, a circuit here that said, okay, if, that, if the first uh, tick or our first, you know, piece of information is going to be the signal strength three, then we're going to allow the next three signals to pass through, right? Okay. So then just say that we come further down the line and there's another one, okay? And just say that this is two. So then it says, okay, so if uh, on the next one further down the line, so then just say, okay, if it's two, then we'll allow the next two signals to pass through. Uh, and then on and on and on until you're finally left with a single four bit signal, right? Uh, so my point is, is that each time you would come out another layer 
uh, that would add another 15 different addresses. So uh, once you pass the first uh, layer of encoding here, then you would have another 15 because we can send uh, just say a signal strength of uh, 3 to this one and then we could send uh, you know a signal strength of 4 that comes behind it and then a signal strength of 5 you know so my point is is that you could actually set up uh, you know like trains of these uh, and each one each output of one of these is going to have 15 different other addresses uh, so what that means is that it, it would blow up very quickly to the point to where you have more addresses than you could ever imagine. Um, but, you know, what's the point? So first of all, you'd only, in that method, you'd only be sending uh, a 4-bit signal because you could only transmit a single tick uh, in signal strength, you know, so you, you would max out at 4 bits. But, uh, you know, you could have an infinite amount of addresses based on that system. But, you know, overall, not really worth it to try to play with it. Um, you know, just like this, not really worth it to develop 128 different addresses because I don't see why uh, anybody would need that much. But anyway, uh, it was a fun, you know, little project to play around with. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be it for the video and probably for the single wire transmission because I think I've developed enough so uh i guess that is all and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video